Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Today's Sunday, September 26th. Currently it's 52 degrees. High today is going to be 72. No chance of rain. 97% humidity right now. And no wind and air quality is 89. That's moderate. So. Oh, I'm still feeling run down. I take so much out of us when we work in the yard all day like that. Well, not all day. It took us several hours, though. Get everything done. It looks pretty out. Sunny. Boy, he's low. Wow. Everything looks okay over here. Looks like there's more peppers. Oh, turn that off. No more of them have been eaten. I planted some more in the spots where it doesn't have any turnips and the ones that got eaten, I planted some more yesterday. I planted some purple tops this time. That one wants to fall over. Turnips are looking good. I planted more Swiss chard. I found another uh, package in there of seeds. So I don't know if they'll grow or not, but it's worth a try. Something's been eating on a little bit of the mustard here, see? These two are, these three. That one. Hope they'll leave them alone. <coughs> Looks like some towards the back back there. Oh, it's a bird right above me. Yeah, something's been eating on some of the mustard, that's for sure. I may have to give them a little water. Kale looks okay, nothing amazing so far. Something's marched on some of this. Comet Suna. Right there and there, you can tell. Darn it. And green beans are still trying to grow back there. I don't know if they'd do anything, even if they did grow this time of year. I planted some radishes in here, some crimson giants. And here they'll grow faster than the carrots just don't want to grow. And I've seen a few of them pecked, pulled out with like a bird has pecked at them or something. Okra looks good. I need to check the carrots soon. More of them and see if any of them are ready. And there's plenty of uh, peppers. Is that my shadow or that's phone shadow?
Hey, Bertha's getting bigger every day. You can see how big that is compared to my hand there. Lettuce is slow to come up. I planted some another uh, scarlet something. I think it was uh, radishes. I planted a few in here where the spaces are and in between the uh, okra yesterday. This white stuff in here. Something decomposing or something. Huh. I don't know what that is. Look at all the flowers blooming. They're going to look pretty when there's even more of them. There'll be lots more of them. Hope they don't get knocked over by the wind or anything. There'll be more. You can see them all over. There's just gonna be lot. There'll be a lot of them on here. I don't know why some of them have died like this. This one here. It's so peaceful out here this morning. Yard looks good. Well, something's eating on some things, that's for sure. Such a pain to cover that, too. I don't know how to cover it with those banana peppers up so high. Here a bee. There's one. Hear it. It gets in there and gets water. It pushes itself into the... where there's some water in there. See how it's doing?
just need to watch them. I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah. Doing the same move. There's two bumblebees that come over here. Looking at the yard and stuff, looking good. Trying to get a little bit of walking in. Nice day. You can see the moon up there. guy across the street he sounds upset about something he's talking to somebody on the phone sounds very upset about something I don't know what he's saying just sounded like it talking something about his house Okay, let's see everybody. Um, speaking of walking, Joy and I got out here with Kitty in the stroller yesterday. And we walked, I don't know, you know, a pretty good amount of time. About I guess the video is about 10 minutes long or something like that. 8 or 10 minutes. But we walked about 4 times up and down through there with Kitty in the stroller. <coughs> and, uh, Recorded that, so I'll have that today. And also, we'll have a Walmart haul today. We got some things for several meals there. So that'll be today. Uh, we had a sub from Walmart and steak fries, Orida steak fries, last night. And they were delicious. And the sub was, too. And Joy fixed it up with some lettuce and onion and something else she put on it uh, tomato and then we put some of that sub sauce it was really good we didn't feel like cooking we were tired well now we got the guy up there out there talking on his phone what is with these people that always go outside to talk on their phone I don't have to, I don't have to be outside to talk on my phone unless you was worried about somebody hearing what you had to say he talks so loud if his mother's still asleep up there i'd say wake it wake her up is one reason he might go so now we got the guy across the street out there talking on his phone and we got him up there i think he's going back in though he saw me down here but that doesn't ever stop him you know from talking we're friends we're friends with them anyway i'm just i like to mess with them anyway they talk real loud too when they're out i mean on the phone it's unbelievable. You can hear every word they say. Okay. Uh, so we were supposed to have chicken tenders last night. I just basically didn't feel like fixing, you know, breading them and everything. Uh, so I surely have enough energy to do it tonight. So I'm going to fix some breaded chicken tenders. I'll use panko, 
probably Mrs. Dash garlic powder and some Parmesan cheese in the breading in the panko. And we got some potato salad we got at Walmart, so I probably had some of that, and we need to have a salad also, so that might be what, what all we're having tonight. Okay, I got today's faith quote, everyone. And let's see, make sure I got the right one. Okay, today's is from Ralph Waldo Emerson, and it says, All I have seen teaches me to trust the Creator for all I have not seen. Amen. So that's today's faith quote, everybody. And now it's time for today's tidbits. I don't even have this ready. Clean it off a little. I always forget to get this thing ready. Okay. Here's a beautiful picture. I don't know if it'll, it won't open up. Oh, well. I hate to go to Facebook just to show y'all a picture. Okay, how fast does a raindrop travel? A typical speed of a falling raindrop depends on its size. A large raindrop, about one quarter of an inch, has a final fall speed of about 20 miles per hour. The impact of raindrops falling at such a speed can cause erosion of the soil. Meanwhile, smaller raindrops with a radius of about 0.06 inch travel at about 16 miles per hour. A tree graveyard surrounded by sand dunes. The dead Vili in South Africa's Namibia is an eerily beautiful place. Here tree skeletons stand tall in the scorching sun. Once a marsh, the river that brought it water dried up as the climate changed, leaving it dry ever since. The deserted dead Vili is surrounded by some of the highest sand dunes in the world some of which tower at 1,312 feet. Wow. Astronomers accurately spot clouds on exoplanet An international team of astronomers has detected clouds on the distant exoplanet WASP-127b. They have also measured their altitude with unprecedented accuracy. WASP-127b, located more than 525 light-years away, is a giant planet similar in mass to Saturn. The team combined data from a space and ground-based telescope for this det detection. Huge wave tosses a jogger near Chicago lakefront. Uh, the Windy City lakefront in Chicago, Illinois had huge waves yesterday. The water started kicking up onto the concrete. A video posted by CBS Chicago shows a wave hitting a woman going for a run on the waterfront. It tossed her around, almost pulling her into the river. The clip has gone viral with, so many, with many people expressing concern for her safety. What is COP26? COP is a conference of the parties to the UN Convention on Climate Change. This year, it'll happen in Glasgow, Scotland between October 31 and November 12, 2021. It's called COP26 this year because it'll be the group's 26th meeting. This year's meeting aims to keep the 2.7 Fahrenheit goal alive in un unabated coal usage and in deforestation before 2030. There's that guy walking up there with his kid. Let's see. I'll let them go on up there. So, let's see. They're walking back there to check out stuff. See him? See that little boy? All right. 
He's cute though. They go back there where those woods are back there and look around. I don't know, they, it's a little trip they do together. Sometimes the, the mother will go back there and she even had their newborn that went back in there. Anyway, I don't, I'm not gonna bother them. Why are cloud rainbows a rare phenomenon? Rainbows form when water droplets scatter the sunlight and reflect multiple colors. But in a rainbow cloud, it's the ice crystals that disperse water droplets. The ice crystals have to be uniform throughout the cloud. Also, the clouds need to be situated at high altitudes for it to exhibit rainbow colors. Thus, it is a rare phenomenon. In 1848, worst hurricane on record hits Tampa Bay. The Tampa Bay 1848 hurricane, also called the 1848 Great Gale, was the most severe hurricane to affect Tampa Bay, Florida. In the 19th century, it directly hit Tampa on September 25, destroying nearly every building at Fort Brooke. It created the Johns Pass in Pinellas and New Pass in Sarasota. Surprisingly, no one was killed by the hurricane. Wisconsin tribes seek man on fall wolf hunting. Six Wisconsin Chippewa tribes fail, filed a lawsuit against state officials on Tuesday seeking a ban on fall wolf hunting, scheduled to start on November 6. The tribes say the wolf hunt is, and its inflated kill quota violates long-standing tribal rights. They demand the court to scrap the fall wolf hunting entirely. What is the Ring of Fire? The Ring of Fire is home to 75% of the world's volcanoes and 90% earthquakes. The 24,854-mile no, belt lies along the Pacific Ocean and is the world's most seismically active zone due to the abundance of tectonic plates movement in that area. It stretches across 15 countries including the U.S., Canada, and Japan. Why aren't weather reports always accurate? People may feel weather reports differ from what they see. Rain and snow often fall in varying amounts, even in nearby areas. Weather services most often refer to the nearest town rather than specific coordinates or exact street addresses. The report might apply to a significant population, but may differ from the weather in your backyard. All right, everybody, that's the last one. That's it for today's tidbits. And that's going to be it for this morning's coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day, and I'll see you later on. God bless.